Hello, my name is Barry Zhang. I come from Huawei South Pacific Regional Marketing. Today, I'm going to talk about the very hot topic, 5G. As we all know, wireless technology has made a very big change for the world. At 2002, the mobile voice surpassed the fixed voice to redefine the telephone. And the mobile internet surpassed the fixed broadband at 2010 to redefine the internet again. Now, is preparing to making another big change. Considering the next 10 years, it is not just the people to people connection, it's not just social networking, it is everything on mobile, everything on internet, and everything in virtualization. In order to realize the Internet of Things, we need to think about dive service requirements. For example, the mirror is which offering real environment communication may request on high data throughput. The automation driver requests for high reliability and zero latency. The water meter may just lead very small bandwidth to transmit several bytes data and non-lifetime battery. All of those requirements from the IoT and the vertical industry need us to think about what is the 5G. So first of all is the connections. In 2025, there were more than 100 billion new connection machine-to-machine -machine device. This will need 5G to offer 1 million connection capability per square kilometer. Second is the peak throughput. 5G will provide 2 to 4 gigabps at the micro coverage and 10 gigabps at hotspot. At the local device-to-device -device scenario, it will up to 15 gigabps or even more. The third thing is the latency. Different kinds of the connection has the different requirements on the latency. For the automation driver, it's less latency and then it's better. So in 5G, one millisecond latency is required compared with the LTE system. The latency is about from the 13 millisecond to 15 millisecond. And actually, the 5G is a new platform which has the SDNNFV-based cloud and big data, which has dynamic network size to give different connections with the right network resource, which has a smart sensor with the unified wireless access to the system. So the 5G is a very big system work and needs all industry members, including government, standardization, operator, vendors, vertical players, everyone to work on it and make it happen. Thank you.